Hey guys, welcome to game three between Masuchi and Rancor. Set three is tied at one apiece. Upper end corner, we have Rancor starting as the Green Zurich Up left hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the Peach Terran. Skin? Skin skin colored Terran? Did I say Terran? I said Terran. It's because I seen there was an uh, I, I, uh, mole trap I, I, uh, of the medic in chat throwing me off. Uh, yeah. Skin colored Zerg. Not your fault, Rice. And this is now part of the commentary. Uh, upper left hand corner. This time it looks like the early Overlord Scout from Misuchi making its way. So he's going to have the advantage once again, potentially, of Overlord Scout in the counter base. Rancor, last game, pocketing those Zerglings and winning from, in theory, a and, and we've seen him do it a couple times now, win uh, the with the technically a build order disadvantage, 9 pool versus 12 uh, pool. And doing an excellent job of executing on both ends of it. Really fun to see. Curious what they're going to open this time. We've seen a variety of builds. I don't think I've seen a 12 hatch from either player since the beginning, though. Looks like we're seeing a 9 pool this time for Rancor again. Masuchi went for an Overlord first. He is building drones. I'm wondering if it is going to be a similar build order. And I don't know that we're going to see a repeat, though. Kind of fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. And that's kind of the essence of Fighting Spirit Mania. Spawning pool being built. Masuchi might be wise to the tricks at this stage. Although I'm not sure that having those threatening Zerglings out in the field negates the potential advantages that Rancor might be able to glean, depending. Grabbing an Extractor immediately. So it looks like he does want to open up with a very similar matchup. The advantage of going 9 pool in this situation again is that the Overlord? Ha the Overlords have scouted each other, so he's got positioning. I think that also might be a reason not to go uh, 12 hatch. But in the midst of this, oh, actually, never mind. No larva saved on Rancor start, so he just wants to go fast layer. So he's ignore. He's going to pump drones. Maybe that's a decision upon seeing this Overlord, but I think this might have been the plan all along. He's just going to drop a creep colony and force Masuchi to come to him. Masuchi has tacked on. An expansion. He is building for, looks like, six Zerglings. Is he going to go for Zergling speed as well? He hasn't seen anything yet. So something Colony, and actually kind of playing a little bit of mind games there, with the Overlords swapping, knowing that those Zerglings would be built. And instead just building, yeah, two Zerglings to try to support and getting a quick drone lead. The mind games. The Zerglings flooding out. It looks like it is going to be an immediate layer for Masuchi. He's still going to be behind because of the earlier spawning pool as far as when that tech spawns. But it's going to be... So interestingly enough, with everything Rancor's done, he's actually up two drones. Having started off with a nine pool. The Zerglings making their way across. He's going to be behind an expansion overall. So Masuchi still might have an advantage if he can hold this. The ground advantage is obviously going to go to Rancor. He's building two more Zerglings past this. Masuchi needs to be very careful to preserve... These Zerglings health. The second creep colony being dropped. And we've seen this actually in, across a lot of the matches where Masuchi has opted for air defenses in Spore Colonies. And Rancor has opted oftentimes for Sunken Colonies uh, to repel Zerglings. The Zerglings are trying to tempt these Zerglings back and also get advantageous surrounds. Honestly, I feel like Masuchi, what he what might be advantageous is to go for an inverted contain. Do it. Uh, I'm going to throw out my history reference. Go for the Caesar style play here. Spire is up. Natural Expansion is up. More Zerglings being built. And is he going to go just for another Zergling Flood? We saw him do that previously. He, it looks like this time he is planting that Spire. Masuchi now up a drone. Another drone being planted. Another drone being planted. Another drone being built. So currently, Masuchi has the economic lead. There is going to be a window. So this Overlord is going to be vulnerable. Rancor actually now moving out to go ahead and plant his Natural Expansion. He's going to try to rely on these Zerglings... No Zergling speed, keep in mind, to be a potential threat to force these Zerglings of Masuchi to stay at home, even though they're in smaller numbers. So this hatchery is going to be much later. I don't know that the Mutalisks that are going to spawn shortly and just killing that single Overlord is going to be enough to equalize that. Masuchi, I think, realizing that he's going to lose an Overlord somewhere in the midst here, and actually Rancor potentially going to lose that Overlord with a natural expansion. He needs to keep it there to just look at the Zergling count, though. The Zergling is pulling back, and actually that Overlord might be able to get out of dodge with the Zergling pressure that Masuchi's forcing. And I don't know that this natural expansion is even going to be able to hold. One single Zergling. It looks like the Zerglings, yeah, trying to end around. They have Zergling speed. That's forcing an engagement. 
or at least they were, maybe it was positioning. I think they have speed because they were able to force an engagement right there. This natural expansion needs to be canceled by Rancor. I do not believe he can defend it, even with the Mutalisks that are coming. He's got three Mutalisks being built right here. So there's the cancellation. The rest of the Zerglings have been cleared up, and so Masuchi doing everything to control this match thus far. Two drones up, natural expansion online. Still hasn't grabbed a second gas as of yet. Continuing to produce Zerglings, but it looks like he's going to be able to get some Mutalisks out in the air. So he's going to have five Mutalisks versus the three that are here shortly. An in-base second hatchery now for Rancor to at least have Larva to try to keep up. The Zerglings pounding away at that. Actually want to try to force a cancellation again. Force another cancellation. So Masuchi taking big advantages here. The Mutalisks, I missed, actually dive straight into the natural expansion. I think a Scourge was per, uh, Scourge was alongside to kill one of the Mutalisks to try to even things up. One Mutalisk getting picked off, but it is still... Yeah, there's GG from Rancor. Just ended up too far behind economically. In the Hatchery cancel also uh, was at a slight disadvantage to begin with. Did everything he could, uh, but Masuchi did everything the other direction to secure it. So he's going to go ahead and once again take the lead in this set 2-1. to one, And we'll move on to game 4. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.